Hey guys, Kevin Thompson here from Metal to Metal Art. Today what we're going to do is we're going to grind some flame patterns in metal. So we make some really cool grind designs in this 18 gauge cold gold steel. But what we're going to do first is we're going to what I call create a palette. How artists use canvas and wood and different mediums. For me the metal is this is the palette so we have to create something to make the stuff pop. This has no reflective value per se, as you see it right here. There's really nothing to it. It's just, it's a flat mill finish. But after you grind it, then that's when you start to get the reflection off it. And millions of little cuts are like facets on a diamond. What we're going to be using today, we're going to be using a four and a half inch angle grinder with a resin fiber disc. I've, there's many different ones. I've used many of them through the years. This is a simple one for Harbor Freight. $14.99, got a seven year warrant, $7 for a two year warranty for two and a half years. And they happen to go back and give me a new one in the box. It works great. I, I grind with this every day. It have been for over a year. So what I'm gonna do is put this in. This is the easel I built. It's a five by five quarter inch plate steel easel. This is the big piece of steel on a two by four backing. And I just put a slight degree on it. So it's easy to grind big pieces of metal if you're going like if you got like a three by seven or something like that, big pieces. A lot of the stuff I do is a lot bigger than this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in here, and these are what they call neodymium magnets. These things stick. They're about the size, they look like about the size of a quarter. You buy these, you can buy these at eBay, buy them in a pack. I got about a hundred of them. I got them everywhere. I love them, man. When you throw it up there, man, it sticks. I love it. What we're gonna do is we put it in here. This, these are my guards. Now with a grinder, always remember, many of you know this, some don't, for all of us to recite. A grinder turns clockwise. Your most dangerous edge when grinding anything is your left side edge. Always remember, your left side edge is very dangerous. It's very dangerous. So what we're going to do is we put this guard up there so we can just skip right over here. So you don't dig in and catch that and rip this apart at 10,000 RPM. Not pretty. So we do this along here so we can just skip over here and not catch it and we're being safe. So I use a little screwdriver and tap the guard if I want them. Okay, I want that one a little bit more. We're good to go. Ear protection. I got a good old 3M pair, Bluetooth, you can use. There again, I got a pair of old Beats from a couple of years ago. I don't know who gave them to me, but uh, they're kind of tattered, but they sound great. Check my ears. We prefer, but today we're using 3Ms, so let's get to grinding. I know I don't use a guard. Some people do, some people don't. Whatever you're comfortable with. But since I've been doing it all these years, I'll just tell you, unplug your thing. Always put a little half inch, keep it from yanking your cord up. Never pull it loose like that. With this, unplug. Okay. This has a little quick lock on the back here. You just push your finger in there. Just turn it. Turn it right off. Get another one. Take its place. Put your little catch in there. 
cranking down on your arbor. If you just hold that, yeah, this is all, just like I said, none of this is rocket science, folks. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. I'm just saying. All right, good to go. I'm going to go fast. Okay, so now this time, we're still creating power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and do the same thing, and then we're going to start grinding some flames. And this stuff starts to really start popping every time you go over it. Even like now, from the last time you first saw it, this is just the first go around, and we still got lots to go. This is a very simple grinding palette pattern I'm showing you guys here today. You can modify this in many different ways, and we will down the road. All right, here we go. Let's Another thing to remember when you're trying a wave pattern to create a palette, I never try to do an absolute straight line because they just don't look good, work good. But when you do that, when you start putting more definitive ones, I try to keep them close together at first, then you start intermingling. It just teaches your hand and how to get a good smooth sweep in case you want to do a uniform pattern all the way through freehand. So in case that's why we're doing what we're doing. And we'll go to that later. changing already just in this amount of time. That's just iron dust that just flakes off. But just in that short amount of time, you see that? People make this to be much harder than it has to be. This is making cool metal art at home, folks. This is great stuff. It's a lot of fun. I love doing this. We're going to flip it over one more time. And you can keep going back and forth on this as many times as you want. It's up to you. The more you do it, the more abstract it gets. And I'm telling you, it starts to get really deep in 3D. And we haven't even got to the flame and grind it and then putting clear coat on it. Man, oh man, it'll look that thick when you're done. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to throw another disc on here. You guys already saw how I did this. I'll have that right here. Got it. I'll try to edit this part out, sorry. Again. All right. So again, now I'll start with it. Maybe we start making the flames. After this, we start making the flame. coming about with it now too. Now what we do is we got kind of a, a pout. This is sometimes never sometimes I'll do some diagonals and I'll space them out and some others this way. And that's built a different 3D depth. But well, we're gonna stick with just this one today for now. So now we're gonna do some flame work. So I'm grinding remember this turns clockwise. Grinders always turn clockwise and when you're looking down at grinding. I'm working from picture this is 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. 12, 3, 6, 9 and 12. I like to grind the best control on the grinder for me, the best for most people, is grinding between 9 and 3 o'clock. From 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. This top half here, up. This part here is your grinding edge. Down here, that's later, that's tricky. I'm not going into that today. I know some of you hot shots know how to do that. And it's cool once you get the hang of it, but we got to stick with the basics. You guys are going to love this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a little bit, we're going to dig in a little bit and create some flame licks in it, twist it off at the end here. And what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna lift up the grinder 
and flip it up one way, flip it down, flip it up. All right, here. Let's see what that Now you can start crisscrossing, but it gives you practice to where when you get these flowing the right way, then you can crisscross them on the bar and get all the cool effect you want. Oh, I'll be right back. Sorry, that wasn't planned. So now you can start moving them back and forth as much as you want. So here we go. Now I'm going to start dipping some down and start intermingling them a little bit. Okay? We got a flame licks here, okay? So we got the top part. So you always reach your farthest ones out. Then we start moving back in and we'll start throwing flame licks in these open spots we have in here. So we'll start cutting them off here and there. And we'll just move our way down through here. I'm gonna put a new grinding disc on it because I like the sharp edge. Like I said, I'm grinding from nine to three. But when I'm on a disc, this much, this is the sweet spot right here. That right there. So get this on. We're going to go one more time. Here we go. Thanks for watching.